Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back with my friend Izzy, which, you know, dude, I told you, I didn't know that we would ever shoot together again, because just being straight up, and we've joked and laughed about it, but the GTR scared the piss out of me. The R8 scared almost more out of me. And I thought that's all I'm gonna get with Izzy, you know, your four second, eighth mile trucks and stuff. But how many times have I asked you when I've been over here, hey, what's up with that? And I don't know much about it, I just know it's not a four second car that's no, gonna just, make me. No, this is more like a cruiser. It's a nice little car, but nothing, nothing compared to the stuff you've been on it, you know? The other stuff is all wheel drive and you know it's gonna get down. And all the technology involved, the technology. you got the traction on it, you exactly. got massive Mondo power, this usable is, power. This is too. more of a real American muscle. Yeah. It's a 69 RSSS Camaro. Honestly, at the end of the day, when you have a car this nice, you don't need to have a Lamborghini, you know, or, yeah. or, or a R8. This well, this is, usually is going to get more attention. You pull into cars and coffee, your pal's in a Lambo, at, you're in this. And at the end of the day, I mean, they keep the value. The content you get from people that when you restore a car, how nice it is, mm -hmm. that's when, you, you know, people actually see the, what did you do different than yeah. somebody else did. And I'm going to show you the difference from this Camaro to a lot of different Camaros yeah, out there. Yeah, which I'm looking forward to seeing, dude. Because I know with you, dude, you have a shop. You build race cars. You build stuff that goes super fast, you know, in settings where it could be really dangerous if it's not built properly. Exactly, exactly. But yeah. uh, I think today you're going to be, you're, you ain't going to need those diapers today. Yeah, that's good. Nah, yeah. You're, no pee pee pads today, no pee -pee man. No pee pee pads today for you. <laughs> <laughs> so when you got the car, was it this clean already or? No, nope. this is a fully restored mod car okay. from nothing to where it is right now. Oh, I'm really? talking about when I bought the car, it, there was not even windows, interior, motor, trans, nothing. So it's just a body at that yes. point. And I owned this car already for more than 10 years. I bought this car in San Francisco. The story behind this car is that whoever I bought it from, his father-in-law had cancer and they needed money to finish his father-in-law's car. The, the, you know, but they needed money to complete that project before he passed away. So he sold this car. Wow. That was the reason that wow. he sold this car. So, and I always wanted one. So, hey, I started, you know, fixing it up. It took me at least four or five years to get it done. And the way it sits now is the way it's been done for about? For like past four or five years. Okay. Yeah. The co I mean, dude, I love This is a custom color. color. All the, the different stripes are inside the paint. There's not, you know. Yeah, I noticed that, that yeah. it's not wrapped or. And uh, as yeah. you can see, it has custom wheels designed my way. I mean, I went to this rim shop. They make the wheels specifically the way I wanted them. Yeah. Those little bolts right here, they're all titanium. So just on the, on the whole four wheels, it was 2000 bucks, just on the bolt. Just the bolts? Are, yes, on wow. the whole set, yeah. And what's the company that makes these? Um, I believe it's uh, ESR wheels. Okay. It looks like you got, let's go sizes on these because I can tell you got some big Oh yeah, yeah. So here. in the back, it's, it's uh, 18 by 12. Uh -huh. And in the front, it's uh, 18 by eight and a half. Okay, and, and what uh, do you run back here on top? We have Hoosiers, drag radios. Yeah. They're, uh, I believe, 335s. And then on the front, they're like two something, 285. I mean, they're pretty big fronts, yeah, too. They're, they're nice. It has uh, heights suspension. Uh huh. So, as you can see, everybody has their brakes right here. Oh, you this got that one, Jag type the, rear The end. Jaguar. Oh, yeah. Dude. This is, this is, you know, that's money right there. That's so bad. So it's independent rear? It, then, independent. Right? IRS in the back. That's why I said you're going to see stuff that you don't see in other Camaros. Like every other Camaro somebody built is nice, but then you go down there, like, ah, just a regular little nine inch. This is a really nice differential. So then what's the front? Is the same? Can heights? we pop the, yeah. can we pop the hood yes. to see? Uh, I mean, I know you would make a driver car, of course. Look at this. Oh, dude. Very cool. Uh -huh. So this is just the LS3 with a cam, a special grind from, you know, something that we designed. Supercharger and it makes around an E80. It's flex fuel car also. So you can drive it in 91 and 85. Yeah. 91, it makes around 600 and 85, 750. Tire. Tires. AC. I mean, what else do you want? Totally. You know? And it's super simple up super here. Super simple. Manual brake setup. Manual, yeah. Yes, exactly. Sometimes I, I, I feel a to sell it, you know, like I've been like, you know what, I hardly drive it, but if I keep it, I'm gonna put a twin turbo. Oh, really? Setup, yeah. So the next time you see this it's car, not it's gonna, power for you. Not yet. enough power, <laughs> man. More power. I, I know I've asked you this before, dude, but you're used to like, like the GTR and Audi, and you guys, if you saw the video, you see me, I'm not acting, I'm legitimately like freaking out at that kind. All right, that's, that's, that's just a, a soft little hit. 
That was soft? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I'm tapping out. I'm done. <laughs> what I'm do you mean? Out. But you said that's fun power to you. Where yeah, we're you're used to this kind yeah, of stuff. This is different. This is more the G force that these trucks, you know, the exactly the white one, you know, is different. It's, it's really hard. It comes yeah. in hard. Yeah, yeah. It's just funny to me that when you say on 91, 600 at the tire, E85, you're 750 at the tire, in my head, I'm like, oh, that's just perfect. Maybe even slightly overpowered. And you're going, yeah, I need more power. I need a thousand. I mean, it was at one time when I when I initially bought it, it was automatic, and I just like you know what, it's it's, it's an old school car. Let me just just, be just rip some gears. I agree, dude. Yes. Which transmission is it in this uh, car? It's a TR sixty sixty, I believe. Okay. Something like that. It's a, yeah. it's a six speed transmission. We yeah. went all the way around. So you're like four piston front yeah, and rear. Yeah, four piston, uh -huh. four piston uh -huh. in the back, and it brakes really good. Yeah, I believe you, man. The inside is really simple, nothing too crazy. You know how I am when we shoot stuff. I usually don't look, but I couldn't help but poke my head in. And I love how simple you kept it. Like you can tell it's customized, but you can still tell it's a Camaro. Yes. It's like the dashboard is still, you know, kind of original, but then the rest of the stuff, it has like beautiful Mercedes carpet, you know, nice leather and the seats, Ricardo, Ricardo uh, front bucket seats. And These then the Ricardos back. are bitching. Suede hay liner on the top. I sent the car back in the days to Arizona, to Fessner, and they finished it. Got it, okay. You can leave it on neutral right there and start Just it. making sure? Yeah. Super simple gauges. Too. Simple gauges. Yeah. Nice steering wheel, black, everything matches. Yeah. God, this is so... This is so clean. Is this, It's hard to tell from it. Is it it's painted all, or is it, it... It's glossy black, complete. Got it, got it. It's hard to tell from the light, but that I mean, I did want to change the dash to more like, more custom, but it's just, it takes too much time. Well, it does. I might, is... I, might, I might do it. You know, you never know. You know how it yeah. is. I mean, the car just sits. I mean, honestly, I drive this car probably three times a year. That's it, huh? It doesn't seem enough. How about exhaust? It's not that loud, exhaust, it's kind of quiet. It's a, it's a custom exhaust, and uh -huh. it has the, the tailpipe right there dumped in front of the tire. Uh-huh. Uh, Magnaflow. Yeah. I really like Magnaflow because it kind of keeps all the drone out of the car. I agree. Back in the days when I was younger, I liked the fucking, all these loud sounds, but now totally. I kind of, I want to hear it only when I get on it. Yeah, exactly. And otherwise you want to be able to just cruise. Yeah, and not annoy, because some, yeah. some exhausts are annoyed. I agree. I mean, I have customers here come with some Mustangs. Holy, man, they don't even make power, but they're really they're loud. They're super loud. But other than that, I mean, the, everything, everything is color match. Everything, like all the, all the details, I took all the chrome out of it. So it's blue, black, and those great, dark gray stripes. Yeah, it's really, really super pretty. And look at, look at the plate, what it says. Faster than a speed is faster than a speeding ticket. I mean, that's just a lie, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what a great, I mean, look at how meaty these tires are back here, they're, though. They're really wide. I'm curious why you did that Jag type rear end. Was that to get? It's, you know, and in the, in the pendant for, for you to hit the corners and you go uh -huh. like roll raising you know, or whatever. I mean, that's the best uh -huh. suspension you're going to get. This is more independent so you can have all the tires. Whenever you hit the corner, this tire gets more load. And I like it. It's, I mean, it's fun. When you when you drive it, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, there's no play in the steering wheel. Everything's just right. Curious about up front here on your light doors. Did you replace those or are those still the old fashioned vacuum? Yeah, they're, they're electronic. They're electronic. Yes. It's the Detroit Speed yes, of one of yes, those yes, brands. Yes, yeah. Yeah. They open and close. Come on, pop them for yeah, me. I gotta see. see they open. I haven't opened them in a while. Hope uh oh, hopefully I, hope, I, don't I hope get they don't get stuck. stuck on you. There no? you go. Yeah. Oh, actually, that one didn't want to open up. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes they get a little stuck. They close good. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that's so cool because oftentimes, you know, the, the old school ones, it's like. Eh, 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, know. you just got to play with it a little and they'll open again. Oh, but I'm it's sure. Just, it's uh, a pretty it, car, dude. It's, it's a nice car. It's, it's, it's simple. You know, there's people that I overdo love. it. I just like to have my stuff kind of like simple. This is like, to me, we'll shoot total garage built cars that are patinaed and beat up, but a guy spent, you know, a bunch of time making a bitchin' car. Then we shoot the crazy, 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 big dollar, million dollar show cars, you know? This falls in my realm of, the, of my favorite kind of stuff. It's obviously a 69 Camaro, great color choice, stance, wheel tire, like all the setups are right. 
Then you get inside, sure, it's modified interior, but yeah. I still know I'm in a Camaro. Yes. I, I think I went too far by doing digital gauges. I should have had like analog gauges. Right. So I might change them. Well, hell, let's pull it out and go drive yeah, let's it, go, man. Let's, let's, go, let's go play with it, all right? Let's go for a drive, right, you guys. guys. this car a few times a year. Honestly, yeah. This is a really bitchin' car. I can already tell. Ooh, oh, the yeah. steering oh, on it. It's, I'm telling you, it's, it's it's really solid. It's always funny, isn't it? Manual, you have to learn the... Yeah, the position of the You have to learn where it's at. Yeah. Stumbly, but it comes. Yeah, probably just gotta. You can get on it. Don't worry. This is just a nice little car. And once you get on it, and when you floor it, it'll come on. Yeah, I really like that steering. Oh man, it's man that steering is crazy. Remember, I told you it's so so solid. So there's no plane at all. What's that little popping I hear? Is it just it's, want you to lay in it? It wants you to lay in it. It's just, I haven't driven it for so long that I probably have to clean up the fuel a little. Gotcha. Yeah, it feels like, no? Boy, that's a super short throw, bro. Really short. I just short. went to fourth instead of second. Yeah, it's really short. That's a Hurst shifter. Oh yeah, now I feel it. Just because you never drive the car, it's I'm, probably a little pissed off yes, at you. Yes, exactly. Huh? Part of the plugs are a little dirty. They gotta get cleaned up. For sure. Hammer. Oh, it just wants to be cleaned out. Yeah, it gotta get cleaned out. How long's it been? Six months. See. Yeah. Dude, you got this cool of a car. I guess when you have as many, I mean, you got a lot of cool stuff, plus you're super busy. You're. I mean, I really don't have you time. You probably don't go out and do just fun driving very often. No, huh? honestly, no, right here. Hammer it a little bit, shift them up. Well, you can tell there's a lot there, even with it being a little yeah, upset yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, once you, you pass know. that, it'll clear up. You can laugh at me all you want, my brother, but that's fun power to me. It's right on the edge of too much, and I know for you it's so far from enough. Make your day coming over here. <laughs> it's cool, huh? I just have so much fun with you, Izzy. You're just this a trip is... to me, brother. You're like a whole different it's world just... of person, man. Car, man. I can tell there's little shit to like 
you know, like you were like hearing that stuff right there, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. little stuff to be fucked with on the car, and, and and I know you, bro. If you had the time, hell, if you drove the car more than three times a fucking year, you'd probably mess with it. But you're like, hey, it's fine. Look, for look at the temperatures, 190. So. You're 190. Unbelievable. I know Izzy, the more I like the guy, man. I just, I always look forward to coming down here, especially today knowing we weren't gonna go in one of those psycho fast cars. This is plenty fast, this is fun fast to me. And it's fun to ride with Izzy in a manual car where we can still just laugh and have a good time and not have to listen to me freaking out and need a pee pad or something. But yeah, I just love hanging with Izzy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, I gotta say thanks for hanging and watching what we do. And I'll see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later.